Any uh, words of encouragement? Any advice, Deathwish? Guess he, he done did gun proper. Maybe I need a, a balanced deck here. Maybe I need like a. I think I got the idea now. Slow and steady. I think is the uh, name of the game here. Walking around, pushing tentacles. Put it in one. <laughs> Ursula is such a biatch. Can I get a heal, please? I didn't have the right deck set up here, but I think we can do it with this one. I just need to be a bit more patient. Uh, now that I know how the fight works, uh, that always if, helps. If anybody can be patient, it's you. No, I ain't got no patience, me. <laughs> I am the Dude, most impatient if I, if I was guy playing in the this, If I was playing this, I'd already be playing another game. <laughs> Get 
What? If I can give you targets on the tentacles and hit them. Yep. But it doesn't seem to really do anything. So it's based on the the cards. So it's the card numbers. Uh. So you have to play. Um, you have to have like a higher card. Um, uh, okay, I didn't know anything about that. Cards. Yeah, this is where it kind of gets. This is where it kind of gets a bit tricky because you it's not just about like trying to hit them you're constantly looking at the numbers and trying to play cards which are um um you know, either higher or the same or to try and break her card and then be able to attack her okay gotcha this game in the series has like a big reputation of being like this is the only game in the series that is like this i believe and it's one of those um people don't marmites, like that crap but it's it's a sort of marmite game it's like people either love it or they hate it there's no I sort can, of middle yeah, ground I can see that. yeah um so yeah it's um yeah it's uh it's interesting you're all the time like what i've what I think what I find like the hardest thing is like I'm, you're always trying to scroll through your cars to try and find something to play against them. Um, that's like better than what they're playing against you. So, okay. yeah. I got you. Yeah, um, I, I can't say I'm a fan of that. Get ready for this. Fire. Especially when it's... Uh, Get ready for this. I mean, if it was just card base, okay. I, I've, I've played some card base games. Yeah. Uh, but when you have to run around and use attacks and this and that, but you still have to deal with cards at the same time, I can't say I'm a fan of that. It's like artificial uh, difficulty inflation yeah no i i totally agree i mean this game originally this game came out on the nintendo ds uh, not ds sorry the game that we advanced oh, so wow. you can kind of imagine like the original game didn't really have the ability to kind of do too much yeah, well, yeah, I never, uh, I had, let's see, I didn't even have the original Nintendo, my friend did, and then I, I had the Atari 2600, and then I had the Nintendo 64. Yep. And then... See, would I, I had I had the Dreamcast. Uh, I played. I don't know if you uh, had the 3DO, but my my cousin had the 3DO. Just like the first system that used CDs. Okay. Uh, I've heard yeah. of it. And I had. I had a Sega. I think, uh, I think I had the Sega Genesis. Yeah, so we call we we didn't have the well, we had the Genesis, but we called it the uh, the Mega Drive. Ah, okay. Never heard of that. Just different name over here. Yeah, um, uh, it's how they. Uh, just how they market it, different countries. Yeah. Yep. 
yeah, they, there was, man, there are so many I didn't have. Uh, use the Jaguar, like a car, but yeah, there was a Jaguar. Yep. I didn't have one, but I, I know exactly what you what you're talking about for sure. Yeah, I didn't have one either. Uh, the only thing I had was Commodore 64, the Atari 2600, and I don't know. I can't. I can't remember if I actually had the. At some point, the original Nintendo. But yeah, I never had a, never had a PlayStation. Uh, I always, I, I had an Xbox, like the first Xbox. And right now, my nephew, uh, you know, he, he got the Xbox. Whatever. Yeah. Ver whatever version X. You know, kind of thing, and the day. Oh, I got the. Well, I said, uh, yeah, Dreamcast. But the last one I got was the last console I got was the uh, uh, Wii, Nintendo Wii. Okay, yeah. That was the last one I got. So yeah, I, I don't. I haven't. Played any consoles since the Wii, um, and that was mainly uh, that was fun, mainly for the kids. And, and I have to say, I I love a lot of the games on it. I love how it worked. Yeah, it's and, one of those. It's one of those consoles. that's really. It was really good to have, but it was definitely a. Um, it's like a party console as such. I would never, yeah. I never saw it as like a console that you could play serious games. I mean, I, I had some games, I had like the Zelda game and a few others that were like supposedly serious, but I don't know, there was just always that gimmick because you, because you've got like the controllers and like you're trying to like aim with your bow and do silly things. I just always felt like it detracted away from the seriousness of the game a little. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh well, it, and and see for me that's what I like because I I wasn't looking for a serious game to play on on that. I yeah. like the I like you know like the Wii Sports, bowling, tennis, and you know Wii Sports that sort of stuff. Uh, we all like that stuff. Uh, I was a pro bowler. I've never bowled better in my life. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, uh, I, in real life, my highest bowling score was, if I recall correctly, it was like 286. Okay, not too shabby then. Yeah, I was, I, I averaged like in the 180s, even though I didn't, I wasn't in a, a, a league or anything, but yeah. Uh, you know, I would go every now and then, and I, yeah, I actually got better when the end of my thumb got crushed off uh, my right hand, which I'm right-handed, and I couldn't stick my thumb in the hole anymore because, yeah, it hurt. Uh, oh. Or put any pressure on it. Yeah, that, that happened when I was like 17. And I got used to just sticking my two fingers and leaving my thumb outside. And I could put you know, massive spin on the ball. Yeah. That way. And. Uh, and so that's when I started uh, falling with with the curve instead of basically throwing it 
straight down like the tip of the floor. You know, average smut. Doesn't fall. Things gotta roll it down straight to the center and hope for the best. But yeah, once I once I stop using my thumb, I'll automatically put spin on it. And I had to throw it to the right side of the lane. And then once it got to the line oily part at the end, it would hook over and boom, I was I was getting Way better, way better scores. Strike after strike. I, I came so close that one time to a perfect 300. And yeah, that was my 286. I might be a couple points off one way or another on that, but I, I was I was up there in the 280s. I don't know. I don't think I've ever broken into a 200 on a game of bowling, if I'm honest. I used to work in a bowling alley for a little, what, little while. Yeah, right. Yeah, as um, when I was going through a stage of like, I didn't really want to know. I, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I started doing a. It was a travel and tourism course or something like that. And we had to do like work experience in a sort of environment in like a you know touristy play a tourism sort of place. And our local yeah. bowling alley um, had like a kids soft play and a bowling alley, obviously because it was the bowling alley. Um, so yeah, I, I actually did a work experience at the bowling alley, and I think the one of the coolest things about it is that we got to like staff pricing on games of bowling. So I think oh, I, could, cool. like, yeah. I, could, I could bowl like a game of a game for a quid or something like that because it was like dirt oh, cheap. Oh, nice! Yeah, awesome. Did, do y'all um, do y'all have to rent? Like you know, the average person every year doesn't own a bowling ball. Shoes. Well, you, like, you don't you don't rent them, but uh, bowling alleys. Uh, we, we just have like racks at the back, and then you just get whichever balls that you want. Yeah, you don't I mean, we got the same thing. Yeah, I mean, but like, you, you gotta like, you gotta rent the shoes there. You don't have to. Rent uh, them no, more. shoes are shoes are included um, in the rental. Although I would say that um, a lot of bowling alleys over here now, you don't need specialist shoes anymore. You can just basically bowl in your regular shoes. Uh, so, no, no, you can't. Uh, you can over here. Uh, it's, it's it's only something that they've started introducing. Um, so last... you can wear like your, your running <laughs> shoes. Or your... Yeah. How, how the hell do you not fall on your face? Because <laughs> I mean, you have to be able to slide the ball properly. Oh yeah, I I agree. I I I have this this the slide motion and. Everybody takes the piss out of me when I do it because they think I'm showing off. But no, I do genuinely slide when I bowl. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the whole thing. I mean, you, you, that's why they have bowling shoes because bottom is like leather or some form of simulated leather where yeah. you sl slide on the wood. And then if you're right-handed, your right leg crosses the spine, your left leg, and you slide on your left foot as you release, and it it works. It's just you know you're counter counterbalancing. Yeah, you know, it's just physics. You're counter counterbalancing uh, you throwing the weight of the ball as well as your own momentum. Yep. To, to to make it work, yeah. Uh, nobody thinks that's showing off here. That's that's like, oh, he knows how to bowl. Uh, yeah, other people just kind of walk up, stop, and then swing their arm back and then throw it. Yep. 
you know, you got you got that the the kind that just try to throw it down the middle. No, I'm I'm carving the ball. Uh, so I'll, I'll start after the left side of the lane and throw it towards the right side. Yep. And then it'll curve back to hit the number uh, one and three pins. Yep. Yeah, Never hit and, it head on. Never hit yeah. it head on. Yep. And, Breach into the uh, climber, man. Seriously. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, doctors. Yeah. It, it, yeah. You're saying, yeah. Same painful? Yeah. Not, uh, that's that's the story. That was like actually my first actual uh, em employee employee job, and I did everything at that. It was a pharmacy, but I did everything in there. Um, and I was closing up for the night, and one of the things. Uh, I had to do was close the steel metal doors and the loading area and then there's two boards you had to put on uh, across the doors that had L-shaped brackets to hold them so if, if it, like it got the lock got picked it you couldn't just Pull it open, the boards would block it. Yeah, anyway. Um, uh, the, the, the people who didn't do their job like they should have had boxes piled in front of the doors and stuff. And I had to lean over. And I put my right hand, my right hand on the door jam. And I grabbed the door and pulled it shut, not realizing my thumb was partially in the hinge area where it closed. And so, yeah, it literally uh, just crushed the end of my thumb off. Uh, when I didn't, I didn't feel a thing, and I, I, I went to put the board on, and then when I did that, because the way I'm holding it, with like you know, your thumb on the bottom and your fingers on top, and think about like six feet wide or six feet long board, uh, yeah, two meters, putting it on there, and I go, oh, that looks weird, and I looked at my thumb. And thought, uh, huh? I must, I must uh, smash my fingernail. Uh, so I took the board back off, opened the door up, uh, and then I saw a piece of flesh along with just my whole thumbnail still attached, fall to the ground, and I picked it up. Uh, of course, yeah, I'm like, well, <laughs> uh, uh, the first thing I thought was like, oh, this feels like rubber. Yeah, your own body part feels like rubber, at least for me. Kind of, and Freeze. I went in. I was like, "Uh, yeah, have a thing here." And then the the, the owner's daughter, who was a pharmacist, in, uh, threw threw a towel at my at my hands. <laughs> Is that right? Shortly, uh, well, when I was when I was back there, I looked at it and then uh, it, it started it started squirting out of the end. 
Nice. So yeah, I just stuck it in my hand, held the other piece. Yeah, but doctor was like, yeah, it's crushed. That was like quite a few tons of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can't do anything with it. Set it up. The, the worst pain of my life ever was uh, getting uh, anesthesia, you know, Novocaine. It stuck it in the end of my thumb right into my bone. Yeah. Multiple that times. And that that hurt worse than everything else. But yeah, anyway, go ahead. All right. Story time. Yep. Uh, please don't be mad, Ariel. That old witch tricked me. Founder, as long as you're safe, nothing else matters. Now, all we have to do is return the try and everything will be okay. What if the king finds out you're the one who took it in the first place? I'll be grounded forever. Ariel! Ariel! Where are you, girl? You can hear me. Please answer! It's Sebastian. He came all this way just to find me. Yep. And when he does, you're gonna get it. Hey, I know. Why don't you just say the sea which with the steel which stole the trident? And you got it back all by yourself, then there's no way you'll get in trouble. Just had the same idea. But I can't do that. I don't want to get in trouble, but I can't lie. What about this? I know I haven't made the best decisions lately. It was a mistake to take the trident. But I made that mistake because I wanted to help you, Flounder. I'm proud of that. Blaming someone else you mean giving would mean giving up those Blaming someone else would mean giving those feelings up. That's why I'm going to tell the truth. She's right, Sora. Honesty is the best policy. Hey, I was just kidding. Great, now I am the one in hot water. Jimmy, maybe you want to tell that to your uh, buddy Pinocchio, that honesty is the best policy. You see that new game on Steam? Um, I haven't really like looked into it too much, but it's like based around the story of Pinocchio. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called Life of P, something like that. And yeah, it's like loose. I, I don't know if it's loosely based or just heavily based, but yeah, it's, it's based on the Pinocchio story, which is um, nah, interesting. I haven't seen that at all. Lies of P, that's it, not Life of P, Lies of P, that's it. That's a P. Okay. Uh, uh, Doctorus. Yeah, how's my thumb? Uh, it took actually can years. You hold, can you hold that thought for two minutes? Uh, so oh, yeah. Can I have more story time. Ah, my bad. My bad. All right, it's all good. Take the hint. I told you to go home. Not until I rescue you and Naminé. I don't remember ever asking you to rescue me. Don't Did rescue. you forget? Don't Kairi's there, me. waiting for us both to come home. You're the one who forgot. Kyrie's there. I told you at Kingdom Hearts when we closed the door. You're the one who forgot. Take care of Kairi. Yeah. That, that wasn't in the script. Give it up. I'm not going back to the islands. For anything. It's not just for Kyrie. What about the rest? You can have those losers. Already forgot them. That's enough. Oh, don't tell me I gotta fight him again. What about you, Sora? Do you actually remember what they all look like? Of course I remember. Don't feel bad. That's what this castle does. Oh, holy crap. Lies of P is 60 bucks. Then it has a deluxe upgrade for you 10 bucks. All the useless stuff and remember for the first time what really matters. I remembered it, Sora. Or 
I now Deluxe know the one thing 70. that's most important to wow. me. Protecting Namine. Nothing else matters. Not a thing. Riku, I think I'll jog your memory. Hmm. Go ahead and try. Do we really have to fight this guy again? We literally just fought him like two hours ago before we went into the last level. like looks at it too much myself if I'm honest so uh, I mean I just watch like just uh, but. Put it on my wish list just to keep it in my memory, so to speak. Because, yeah, I'm not paying $70 for a game. No. Uh, I haven't paid full price for a game since literally the orange box. Yeah, I'm, I'm 19 years in. Oh, 19 and a half. I was only uh, slightly less than a year after Steam started that I had to, uh, started my account. 2004, July the 25th. You're an old dude. Old dude slash OG. <laughs> yeah, there's there's so many people that uh, <laughs> watch like your, your channel that are on Discord, etc., etc. That that are younger than my Steam account. <laughs> they make us both feel old. It was only meant to you that was meant to be you that felt old. Yeah, okay. Crazy was born in July of 2004. Well, right in between my daughters. My oldest was born in August of 2000, and my youngest was born in March of 2007. Why don't you use that key to unlock the secret to beating boss? Well, I would if only this guy would like just stop <laughs> breaking all my card combos and just die. <laughs> my jeez, give me a break. Well, like I say, it's like literally I, I fought this guy before I went into Atlantica. Why do I have to like freaking fight him again? Uh, because you can. Considering this guy is meant to be like my best friend and everything. Yeah, seems like it. Great, great best friend. You just break your... Whatever. This... Wow. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. 
Uh, so you, you, you get cards while you're playing. Right, so yeah, you build a deck, and that's what you use throughout your battles. Um, hmm. But depending on when you use a combo, so if you use a combo of like three or more cards at the same time, um, when you use a combo, you lose the first card um, out of your deck. So it's completely possible that you can um, run out of cards if you keep like using combos. Of course, using combos is good because you can get a higher score and your cards don't get broken as much. But card break is basically yeah, like when they kind of decide that they're going to absolutely wreck you and not let you do a move. Yeah. This is why I'm watching, not playing. <laughs> You're crazy? Uh, yeah. You think, you think 20 came up fast? I, I, I still feel like 20 was just a few years ago for me, and I'm 50. Got him. Time flies. I still can't believe it's like 19, it's 19 years since I went to university. Like nearly two decades ago. It's cr absolutely crazy. Yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, I think about, like, I, I have no desire to go to any high school reunions. Sorry, uh, story time. Too bad, Sora. You can fight me all you want, but I still won't remember a thing. Come on, Riku. Let's quit fighting. Let's go help Namine. Together. So like you. Sora, you're always trying to worm your way into my heart. Hold on. When did I ever do that? Huh. You forgot that too? You never cared. It never mattered to you. You won't push me away. Sora learns Magnet Spiral. Two gravity cards and an attack card to pull multiple enemies closer before attacking them. Just a shame I haven't got any gravity cards. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Uh... Yeah, Steam's 20th anniversary. They they actually had to create a new badge for 20 Story years. Time. Story time. Does it hurt, Namine? Watching your two childhood friends fight. All because of you. You just got a very long torso. You have my sympathies from the heart. But don't waste your time. We nobodies can never hope to be somebodies. I don't get it. Riku and I, we both want the same thing. Both of us want to help Namine out. How come we're fighting each other? I mean, Riku and I have argued about stuff in the past, but... Could be because you care what happens to each other. Hmm. I really thought so too. But... Maybe Riku doesn't. You can't give up your friends. Tag together. Sora, Riku, and... Um... 
Hmm. It seems our memories are fading mighty fast. Sora, we gotta hurry. I bet Riku will come around if you just talk to him. You're right. We three were never apart. Me and Riku and Namine. You and Riku and Namine, but what about Kairi? Wasn't Kairi there and one of your friends and everything? One seems to kind of be forgetting about her. Hmm. I want to try and remember, but uh, you can't. Um. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap up for YouTube now. Uh, we'll carry on the stream for a little bit longer afterwards, so don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will be back next week, continuing on uh, floor number nine. I don't know how many floors this castle has, but it seems to be going on forever and ever. Thanks, Deathwish, for being on board tonight. Appreciate it. Um, right on, brother. And until next time, not keeping awesome. Take care, stay safe, use all sort of stuff, and happy gaming. Bye, guys.